What, what is good, Mama Squad? And welcome back to our channel. If you hear some thunder and some rain, look right there. It is lightning storming, storming raining, and thundering all at once. Oh, yeah. So, as you guys read by today's video, we are going to be asking my amazing husband questions that girls are too afraid to ask guys. guys like this man right here. We're going to be asking. The amazing you, husband. Yes. The amazing husband amazing that husband. I am. Yep. is gonna answer all these questions on the guy's behalf as best as I can. Now, it's probably gonna vary, but this is gonna be like what most dudes answer. And, I'm I'm like, and I know a lot of a lot of high schoolers watch us, so this will be a good way of oh like learning men and hearing thoughts. Like think back to like your high school years when I ask you these questions, or just even now. Just my whole life. Yeah, think, just about, think about everything. Mush it all into one answer. Yes, so guys, if you guys are ready for this video, make sure you give this video a big, big thumbs, thumbs up. up. Go down and hit that subscribe button. We also do post notification shout outs after every single one of our videos. So make sure you're staying tuned for the keyword of the day to comment to be shouted out. So that will be somewhere in this video. So we're gonna start off the question. I'm scared. What is this like y'all's questions? Like they answer these on Insta? Yes. Okay. So I asked you guys on Instagram, so many of you guys replied. Let's so see. I'm Let's excited. Let's see what y'all said. All right. What leads guys to suddenly cut off communication with girls? Like, when do they start to lose interest? Like, what uh, what makes you guys like kind of back away from women? Or so the thing is, I never really like cut girls off like that. Yeah. I don't. I don't. So like, it would be hard for me to relate to doing that. But here's the reason why I feel like guys would cut a girl off. Okay. Because first one, like they had their fun and they're not interested anymore. They found someone new. That's probably like the first main one. I know, but what's something, like what is for you something that would turn, like back in the day, like was clinginess one, was texting you too much one, like what? No, clean, I like clean, clinginess, yeah. okay? Obviously not too much, but like, yeah, cleanness, like, but like to make a girl, to make me cut off a girl, they had to be crazy. I mean, you cut me off at six months. Because you were crazy. No, no I'm kidding, I'm uh, kidding, I'm kidding. No, 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 but I didn't cut you off. That's not the thing. I didn't say, all right, no more ride, done, cut off. No, I texted you, I called you, I hung out with you, no, this you and that, throughout, respect, the, throughout but... all of it. Yeah, so I feel like for me, you would have to be crazy and like do something insane to have me cut you off. But I feel like the main reason for guys is they're not interested in any in anymore and whatever. Okay. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> Are guys afraid to cry in front of their girl? Like being around other men, uh, like Okay. I already have the answer. You don't even have to finish your sentence. I feel like I'm not, uh, to a certain extent, but I will say I still have a, a like a lot of it in me is like 90% of dudes don't cry in front of women. And that's just the sense that like men are supposed to be like the rock. They're supposed to be the ones that help deal with people's emotions rather than people helping them deal with their own emotions. Mm -hmm. So a lot of the times like guys like they don't show it at all, they'll keep it on the inside. I do that with a lot of stuff, but I still like, you know, come on, you shower You're a little emotional. bit. Also, the more you get That's used to a person is the, you know, the more you open up. The more you love a person, the more you open up. But it is perfectly fine if a dude doesn't open up because most of them don't. And I know a lot of people that definitely don't do well with emotion. And, you know, at the end of the day, it's like a time game. It's like how long is it going to take for them to not even just trust, but like trust that it's okay to just let it go. I and once they do it once, you know, they'll probably do it again. I think when a man cries, it symbolizes to me that they really love and care for something. Like, I don't know, there's just something about a man crying that I love. I think that's a turn off. Well, a lot of men see that as a weakness. Yeah, like, which it's not. Back in the day when we were gladiators, right? Fighting and eating meat and hunting. It's like, you ain't gonna cry because like that's a form of weakness. So I feel like a lot of that was carried into the new modern day and like now you got like, you know, half and half. You got yeah. people that are still like that and you also got people that kind of like go of that. I like bit. a man that can cry. Yeah. Well. Um, <laughs> okay. Okay, so this next question is a little TMI, oh, but yeah. I'm going to ask Just it. rip it off like a band-aid. What is it? Do you like it hairy or smooth? Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Personal preference. I don't... I, it's, it's, okay, but what do you like? These are asking... That okay, I'm here's the know. thing. Here's the know. thing. I feel like, even though people will disagree with this, the more hair that someone has, no matter what part of your body, right, that part is more prone to like the upkeep is higher, right? You have to be way more cleanly. You have to keep up with your hygiene more. Okay, this is a good like, question. 
So no, you know, I I I'd rather have less hair than more hair. If that answers your question. I thought you were other say, people say otherwise. I, I I thought you were gonna say you didn't care, like as long. As I mean, know. I don't care at the end but of the day, but I prefer. Yeah, yeah. It, you know, just you know. Yeah, no, I get it. You know, yeah. So. How do you feel about a woman asking a guy out? Like, if I, I that, was to ask you out, would you think that's weird? Oh or? my gosh. Please, please. Women need to start acting more because a lot of women are like, I ain't gonna go out with him unless he makes the first move. Bro, some dudes just don't have it in them to make the first move, right? And Or are super nervous. Or some dudes are just idiots and can't pick up on a situation. And so many people are losing out on like, just like experiences yeah. and falling in relationships because they're either waiting for the dude or the dude's just too, you know, out of it to, to do it. So I feel like women should start doing that or should just do that more. But I also think a guy, you know, you want to act tough and don't want to cry. I think also if you want to act like that, you should also be the man up and ask the woman out. Right. But a lot of the times, you know, it's but not it's the case. Okay. A lot of the times the dude doesn't even realize an opportunity until one presents himself or know, herself. It's more so like if she did it before he did. Like, I mean, do you, yeah, or you she, have cared if I like, asked you out? It's like, I wouldn't have wanted you to propose, but women do that too. You know what? If a dude took that long, like if we were going on like 10, 15 years and you're just like, what the it. heck? I'm going to do it. And if he says no, then that's it. Like, you know, that's different. You got to respect each other, but this still, come on, we're all getting older. So mm -hmm. you still have time limits. You know, you got to get married. And, you know, if you want to have kids, you got to do it a little earlier. So women should have the capability of doing it, but don't expect a woman to do it. I think it's just like every couple varies. Does it matter if a girl has big or small boobs and butt? Oh my gosh. Cherries and peaches. Like, you know what? Do you care? I feel like at the end of the day, people shouldn't rely on like that physical look and it should be more like the personality. your connection and all this stuff, you know, but you know, it's, it's sad to say, but like, I mean, at the same time, you like you, you know, what you like. So it's kind of like most people go off of physical look first, but it's also kind of like, you know, if the personality is good, if the connection's good, but the bedroom isn't good, it gets okay. scared. So that's because, a different question. Because that's no, actually question. in high school, I learned a thing. I was in communication class and they actually taught us that the things in the bedroom are actually really important in a relationship well, of course, and it's, it's a part of the relationship like it's a Okay, but that's not the factor. question. But I know it is, but you're talking we were talking on tangents of physical attraction like yes and no like I Okay, I feel like yes, emotional connection should be looked at more than physical, but most people look at physical more than anything to start building a foundation on with a relationship. But technically you wouldn't care whether the, they had small, if it was small. I mean, no, I, I wouldn't care, but at the same time, it's something that like, I feel like everybody thinks about. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah. like, you know, it's hard to say exactly what someone's going to do, but some dudes just think differently than others. Mm -hmm. It's kind of hard to like say what guy is like what, but. But if they also think like that, then it wasn't meant to be for someone that they could have been with, but didn't like because of a certain feature. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Exactly. All right, Bill, this is a good one. Have you ever faked it during sexy time? No. Just, like faked it No, it? no, 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 no. No? Not at all. Even if I did, I wouldn't tell you, but no, not at all. There's some funny moments we can't share on camera. What? There's okay, some we don't gotta get into any of that. No, I know. I, I know people do, though. people like definitely do, like, you know, oh uh, but God. no. And even if I did, like I said, I wouldn't tell you because like, who cares? Like, I'm not gonna like cause an argument over nothing, but I didn't and that's a promise. Okay. Also another question, do they care about the size of the girl? Like tall or like, would you like if a girl was taller than you? No, I would not. But a lot of dudes, dudes do. have a preference that they want a taller girl. But I personally, I feel like 95% of people want a shorter girl and most Tall girls, if not almost all of them, are with dudes that are like seven foot tall. Like I've seen like tall girls in public, right? Tall girls, like I'm talking six foot and up, right? That's a tall girl. Yeah. Their man is literally like six five, six eight, like a giant dude. Mm -hmm. Now it's okay if they're shorter. Most people prefer the girl to be shorter. 
So you. I prefer to grow. I, I, the I agree. I wouldn't. I feel. I would feel like. Like I said, it's personal preference. It's stupid because it's not even that big of a deal. But no, at the same time, not. like to me, it is. Like I, I, I wouldn't go over a girl as taller because it's just like it's not what you're into. It's not what yeah. you're like uh, drawn to. So yeah. I wouldn't even look at a tall girl like that. You know. I get it. Probably. I don't know. I wish she was the most finest woman on the planet. I don't know. I don't know. Because I probably <laughs> I still would, would rule would rule feel... them out, you know? Okay. Find this girl or not. Oh, this is a good one. Do you guys wipe after you pee? Like, do do you... guys? Yeah. No. I just feel guys like that's don't. So guys nasty. don't. And if guys do, I don't know what to tell you. They, they, I don't know what to tell you. I just feel like that you don't get any like pee dribble, like. No, you do, but, but like, you that's why you know. No, you don't. You literally, after you're done, you kind of like, you know, you're either like, you shake know, it off. Yeah. Shake it off. Shake once or shake twice and that's it. It's out. It's like, shake it off. you know, if you had water in your straw, you took your straw out and you went like that, is there going to be anything left? Like that's all I'm saying is like, so, so you do do that. Not, like literally no guy does. And if they do, they must have a reason for it because I have never heard of a guy doing that. Myself, I have never. I'm not saying there's not guys on here that do that, but I heard some if y'all do, like, actually, I've never heard about it. There's a guy on TikTok, and guys, tell me if you guys have seen that. There's a guy on TikTok who literally says men who don't wipe are disgusting because they're, they're, you're still like peeing, it's still dripping. Like, you're not disgusting. And you know what? At the end of the day, it's so minimal. If you get one drip, which I never do. <laughs> But if you get one drip, <laughs> why does your life depend on that one drip? I don't oh know. My to God. me, I never get like that. But like, even as dis as as a dude can be so disgusting. Like, you would have to be mid pee and just put it and just keep going. Stop. Like, uh, like go in your pants at that point. Cause stop. It, no. That doesn't work like that. If you know, if like you if you know how those parts work, it don't it don't work like that. It don't just keep flowing <laughs> after you're done. It's true. I it's can't. True. Like, I don't. I, yeah. I whatever. You know. And everybody's different, and you know what? Women are definitely different. Where you gotta, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like, drip dry. You, feel like you got. Okay, we can we go to the next question now. That is that is not your question to answer. Okay, so this is another question. How many times a week do you uh, do you guys prefer? Uh, I don't know. Like, it what doesn't do matter. Prefer? It honestly, do I know what we guys prefer? Every day. No. Oh. Whatever they're girl wants well, because that's, that's nice all they're getting there. no because that's all that's, that's all you're doing man right there. that's all you're doing because it's other than respect. that you're gonna be unhappy it's called respect well i mean girls women what would you have prefer? to respect as well but what would you prefer I, I don't even have i don't even have a personal preference you know just make sure that it ain't it ain't going months <laughs> weeks come on <laughs> <laughs> you're funny today all right i have a question if my tampon was stuck, would you get it out? Like, would you go up there and get it out? If it was lodged up there, would you go up there and take it out? I, could obviously. I, could, I, could I rely on Obviously, you? we've been together for seven plus years. I mean, I've like, actually had him check If it, no, okay, you don't have to. Babe, come on. PG, come on. Jesus. <laughs> They're my family. Stop. Because I'm trying, listen. They're my family, even though it's PG, it's all right, normal All right, all right, all right. We don't have to keep, okay, okay, yes. <laughs> Period. Okay. Move on. Because like at the end of the day, like we, I mean, if like if it was literally that life threatening where you needed me to do that, why wouldn't a dude do that for their woman? Okay. <laughs> you know, at the end of the day, it's just like it is what it is. You just gotta get it, get it going. All right. What do you notice first about a girl? Like, what is when you see a girl? What it like me, for example? What she's was the hot. first thing you? Like, oh, she's hot. Face. Waist. Ew, Bill. Face waste. Face and waste. No, it's not. That's literally Seriously? how a dude analyzes a chick. Face right? and waste. <laughs> I, I, I meant that because I was rhyming. But I, I'm not an F boy. I've never been an F boy. But from my understanding, I've talked to lots of dudes in my life. I am a dude. I hang out with dudes. It's one of those things when you notice a woman, you first eyes, face. Right? That's the first thing you always look at. You don't just look at a woman and just see butt ever, right? <laughs> Unless they're walking away and you can't see the face. If they're walking away, the first thing is the butt. Okay, okay. I don't do it anymore. But, do it anymore. you know, guys I've it. gone out with, single dudes or whatever, you know, you just, you see, that's just what, how it is. But yeah, so it's face. After you analyze the face, you're like, dang, that girl is attractive. She's beautiful. Instantly have to go down and look at every other feature. Okay. You know, you have like but that's my smile. Then to grab your 
attention first. That's part of the face. All right, all right. And the right. face is a whole. It's not a smile, it's not an eyes thing. You do those once you get up closer and you start conversation. Then you start going up and down from the lips to the eyes. Okay. That's when you notice that stuff. All right. So that's how dudes analyze. That's, okay. that's literally, and you know what? Some dudes might be different, but most, that is how <laughs> you analyze. Yeah. You know, it's like you read you a book. You read a book from, down. how do you read a book? Up and down. From the top down. Oh, down, wait, top up, yeah. From the top down. Up and down, yeah. No, you read it top oh, down. Top you down. don't read it up and sorry, down. Sorry, sorry, top down. Yeah, so that's how you, you know, you analyze things. You always look like basically eye level first and then it goes down. Okay. I feel like that's not like, you know, maybe it is weird, but at the same time, like that's, I feel like just, Humanly nature, and honestly, I feel like that's how women check out dudes too. Yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. You put, yeah, put yourself. I thought side. you were so. You see sexy. a guy, you see a lifeguard. You're like, you see a lifeguard. First thing you look oh, at is his. You no no. You know he has a shirt off, but you're gonna look at his face and his abs. No, but what did you do first? Looked at his abs. You looked at his face. Yes, or, I guess. Or the one rare time that you you you're not even paying attention, you look over and you just see abs. You look up instantly. Like, mm -hmm. The moment you see that, you look up because you want to see the face first. Kid, would, yeah. Once you see that face again, where the eyes go again, abs. Okay. Yep. All right. Bulge. No I'm kidding. Okay. <laughs> next question. You want to talk about PG? Next question. No, 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 no,
because girls can regulate the relationship with the guy friend and immediately, immediately understand, you know, it's a friendly, awesome, fun vibe. You like, you know, having their energy around, they're a good person, they're your best friend. But here's on the other thing, guys can't have friends that are girls. So those guys that are friends of those girls, to me, and, and knowing dude behavior, it is so rare to have a friend that's a girl and not eventually like them. Yeah, I get that. I, I, yeah. And I'm not saying there's people on here that don't have friends that are girls that they don't date, but the, to me, there's no way you could be around a person that makes you so happy that's the opposite gender and you don't find them some sort of even emotionally attracted to. Yeah. You know, you might not be like physically like, oh, she's like a sister to me. You know, I've known her, she's my best friend for five years. There has to be something that you love so much about her that like, you know, I don't know. And there are some rarities out there. So like I said, if y'all have guy friends and you know 100%, no way he would ever date me. I feel like 70% of the time that's false. 75% of the time you just don't know that, you know, yeah. they might have crushed on you in the so past. So would you be okay if I had guy friends? No, not at all because it's different. Once you're in a relationship, first of all, it's different. When you're yeah. not in a relationship, you can have as many guy friends and the guys can be your friends, whatever. And if they try anything or if they don't, who cares? Because you're not. If you're, if you're dating, boyfriend, girlfriend, and you have guy friends, I wouldn't like that gets friends weird. That gets weird because then you got to still respect your, your dude, but your dude has to respect that maybe you had friends before him. Yeah. Now, if you're but married, y'all's life is together. I think so if, if Mariah was like, hey, I'm going to go hang out with my guy friend. And, this is weird. And if I'm like, oh, well, you know, can I come along too? Because I want to be friends with him. If, you, if you're that close to him and you're like, no, we want to do our own thing together. That's like, okay, well, you know, I, I don't feel comfortable with that. Yeah. Some dudes might not even care if their woman hangs out. But at the end of the day, like, I wouldn't feel comfortable if you had a dude friend. And I'm like, you know what? I have no issue with you being friends with him. But like, you know, let me be there. Or, you know, why do you have to hang out with them every week? Mm -hmm. Or, you know, hang okay. out with him. You know, oh, I haven't seen this dude in years. I want to hang out with him. You know, you do that every six months. or That's different. But guys can't have girlfriends. Girl, that there friends. you guys go. There are some of oh the questions gosh. that were answered. I hope we can answer as many as possible. I wish we could talk to you guys for hours. You guys are our best friends. And today. at the end of the day, these things are Personal my preference. answers. I do feel like a lot, this is why I'm like backing myself up because like I'm not even speaking for anyone else. This is like a lot how I feel, but I do feel like just being around hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and thousands of guys throughout my life, school, all the years of school, mm -hmm. currently hanging out with dudes. Like this is like a very huge way that dudes think. You know, oh, no, and all I, these things I feel like are almost very accurate with some dudes that do, you know, do things differently. Though. Yes. So I at agree. the end of the day, everybody's their own person and you do what you want within means, you know, and that's all I got to say. So I just realized now we never give you guys the word of the day. Oh, the shoot. word of the day is going to yeah. be friends. I feel right. like that's and a good I one. don't want you to think the word of the day are always at the end of the video because no, they're not. No, we forgot. They're usually hidden in the middle of the video somewhere. But today yeah. we're going to say friends. Yeah, friends. I like that. I like that because we're all friends. Yeah, we're friends. And that works out perfectly yeah. with this video. Yeah. So comment down below the word friends and we're going to be shouting out a few of you in one of our next videos. So now we got to shout out some of y'all from our last video. Commented, are y'all ready? I don't like this one. They commented. Team hashtag day. team bill hashtag team bill because you know what you go ahead and give him the shout it wasn't out. a trash video but it had a lot to do go with ahead trash. give him a shout you know out this I mean, is baby. for you baby you know this i'm just you. saying i'm just Pack saying yourself up oh <sighs> where are all my team bills out here you know what's funny even a lot of people that love and die hard for team mariah still had to count team bill yeah. Okay. Yeah, I got y'all. I got y'all. Okay, okay. No, but for real, like, thank y'all for watching that video. Because, you know, team build videos are just different All right, a give the shout outs topic. already. All right, I'm going to shout out to Luna Evelyn Ooh. dash Emma. Shout out to you. I love y'all's video so much. Thank you. I'm going to shout out to Paige Davis. Ooh. Shout out to you, Paige. Omar Rico. Seven, shout out to you. I can't imagine the influence you've had on the Marvel family. Thank you for doing this for us. We literally do this all for y'all. Like, no, literally. And I do appreciate that comment. It means a lot. Shout out to I am Sabrina Lucky. Well, it is your lucky day. Team because... Bill blows. Team Mariah. Ah. Sabrina said, you know what? I don't even mind, ah. Sabrina. I still love you, but she Sabrina. literally, I didn't even read it. Oh, I, I was going to read it after. She said, team hashtag Team Bill blows. Team Bill does blow. With a laughing face. 
Hashtag Team Mariah is coming back to you. You know what? I'm you're you're dead. awesome because you still made that work That's for you. So, so you know, I respect it. Shout out to Gabby Long. Shout out to Hib. OG Dan OV. I don't know if that's how you say it, but thank you so much for commenting. And last but not least, shout out to Riley Gaffney. Shout out to you. She said, Bill, but Team Mariah, love you guys. Team Bill, but Team Mariah. That's what she said. Mm -hmm. You know, because she had to comment down below mm -hmm. Team Bill. So. Yeah, so. Um, thank y'all so much for everybody else that commented down below Team Bill. If you want a chance to get shouted out in our next video, all you gotta do is comment down below friends or have the word friends in any part of your comment comment and you can get shout out in our next video. Yeah. But I really hope you like my answers. I did try to answer them as much as I could. And we love you guys and we'll see you in the, in next, the next video. video. But, but until, until then, then, peace. Love, love you guys. guys.